guys, welcome to the channel. And today I'm showing you the Skinny Beast gaming setup that we got for Christmas. And it's looking pretty sick, guys. Guys, I'm gonna give you some tips that'll help you with your gaming setup. Thanks for those that have skid up pop. Skid up pop. Thanks for those who have subscribed. And guys, leave a comment. Uh, let's take you through our gaming setup. First is our No Fear gaming chair. These are pretty cool and they've got RGB lights. Look at this, look. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So that's the um, that's the RGB, uh, no fear, uh, gaming chair. We bought this from Game. We can't find them on Amazon, but we've left a similar one in the description. This one's got loads of different settings you can use, like RGB lights and that. So here's the remote. It's So you've got the power button at the top and then it has like you can add the speed, uh, I don't know what these are, but auto oh, is like... One, these ones here are mode, these the green ones are mode, mode buttons. So, auto is the one where, like, like it's on, that's what it's on now, isn't it? It just changes, so it can go from that to like flashing different colours every second, or it can just go like flowy rainbow, and then you can choose your colour down here, or you can just put white, I don't, I don't think we've tried white yet. Um, and there's the brightness. What are these? Um, I think it's just like some settings. Mm. Yeah, so like the best one is uh, we always go for like the mode, press mode, and then you can flip through the different modes. But I think your favourite one's probably like the. Like yeah, this one. that one. That one's cool. Yeah, it's got like. It's got all the um, RGB colours, so it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's a pretty. It's a pretty cool chair. Um, Nice, and you've got a nice gamer gamer cushion there, keep nice and comfy. I've got this for one of my Christmas presents. It's important to have a good chair because if you're sat and gaming for hours, you need to be comfy. Yeah, definitely. Definitely need to be comf comfy, don't you? It needs to have a battery pack. Uh, you can just buy a small one and it goes in the back of the chair. Top tip, get a good gaming chair, guys. So next we've got our keyboard and uh, I've got a CC Store mouse and this is also RGB. Guys, it's all about the RGB. So yeah, here's the here's the mouse here. It's a nice, cool mouse. It's got um, it's pretty cool. It lights up on the side. Uh, this setup is PS4 setup, so it's quite cool that you can use a mouse and a keyboard. But when you're buying them, just make sure they're compatible. They are wireless. The keyboard you can charge, and the mouse is chargeable as well. Yeah. You just plug them in. You just plug them in. I don't actually know where you plug the mouse in to charge it. Is it there? Oh yeah, is yeah yeah. So you've got a little charging charging um, port on the mouse, and then at the back of the uh, Klim keyboard, you've got a charging. Got USB C here, look there. So it's got USB C. Guys, you need a good desk. So we've got a double setup here of two desks. Nice. Uh, it's good to have drawers too, so you can store stuff like remotes in there. We've got quite a few for our setups. Yeah, remotes, memory cards, stuff like that. Okay, we can put our games in here. Uh, good game this one Fortnite Monopoly got to get that one guys uh, that is such an awesome game and yeah like you said you know you've got your drawers here again these little desks off Amazon uh, nice and simple quite easy to build you need a good game in mouse Matt that's a bit of a mouthful that isn't it that is a bit of a mouthful it's hard to say uh, so you've got a Raptor uh, gaming mouse mat you guessed it guys RGB. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, cool mouse map, um, RGB, loads of different settings. 90% of the stuff we've got here, we've got on Amazon. Uh, we've also got the Samsung curved monitor. Nice. Um, it's a cool little setup, not too big. I think it's 27 inch. The issue with monitors is that they don't have sound, so you have to plug your headphones into the back. Or you can just, if you're Play on controller, you can plug it into your controller. Sweet. Um, or you can uh, buy some speakers, um, plug them in. Um, hard for this one because we've got two setups. 
So you just go through your headphones, it's not a problem. Um, and for the monitor, we can also move it. Nice, yeah, that's, that's a good touch in it. So we've got a uh, Envision um, monitor arm here. So as you can see here, you can, you can move it around, back and forth, tilt it, uh, put it up higher. Okay, it's just a real uh, nice little feature to have on your gaming setups. Uh, an important thing to remember is your uh, desk needs to have a bit of depth. Um, you know, these desks here aren't ideal for gaming because they're, they're not very wide um, and you will struggle to get all your stuff on. I think we've done a good job. I think we've just about squeezed it on. I think we've just about squeezed it on, uh, but you could do with just a little bit more depth. I'd say this is probably about 35 centimeters. You'd probably want to go for about a good 40, 40 centimeters depth at least. Um, cool, because here you can see that we struggled to, um, we're getting a bit closer. We struggled to put the hydraulic arm on. It's all, we've had to put it over the gaming ma uh, mouse mat uh, because it wasn't big enough, um, but it doesn't damage it and, it and it sort of works fine. But just remember that guys, you do want um, just a, a little bit of a, um, a wider, or a deeper desk. We've also got our LED lights on the back. Yeah, so then we went for the, so we'll, so we'll pull the arm up a little bit here. We'll have a look around the back. So cool, yeah, we went for the LED uh, lights on the back of um, the monitors. We've also got um, our lamp here. So yeah, just a, just a little lamp. And then see up here, guys, we've got our um, pegboard. Let's put some stuff on here, like we can hook our headphones on there. Cool, so like a, a battle bus off, um, off Fortnite. Fortnite, it's cool, isn't it? Um, and so you can also blow up the balloon to put on it, and then you can press the V box sign on the battle bus to make it light up. And it also comes with a default James Lee. Yeah, nice. Um, if you've got all the setup, um, you're going to need the adapter. Um, again, yeah, we've just got a little one here, so I uh, like Logan saying, um, if you've got um, you know, a keyboard, a mouse, a mouse mat, um, a light, and you've got your uh, RGB lights on the back, your LED lights. Okay, you're going to need uh, one of these, just a little adapter, plug that into your PS4, and then you can just, you've just got a few more slots so you can um, make sure everything goes in there nice and neat. And then again, uh, we'll just plug that out of the way and run that down the back. Okay, nice and neat. And yeah, you need you need one for your controller as well. So, because you only got two on the PS4, I'm not too sure on how many you got on the PS5 or the Xbox, but you've only got two USB slots on your on your PS4. Uh, for any gaming setup, you're going to need a good set of headphones. We just got a basic set here. It's got some nice cushioning. Um, really important, guys. You need to have a microphone. Yeah, the microphone's really important, especially if you're playing online with your friends and stuff. You know, you can plug this into your uh, PS4 or you can run it into the back of your TV. Uh, but you need, to, if you do want the microphone, you're going to need to run that into your um, into your uh, controller. If you if you also have got light, that's what your USB um, part of the uh, leads are for. So this is our PS4 setup. I hope we've given you some useful tips. 